Praise, Praise mercy, mercy, peace, and blessings. blessings. Once again, Minister Kev of the Body of Christ. Let me get these words out. Bear with me. It's been a long day, you know. Some of us, we work hard. Hard work. Amen. But nevertheless, I'm going to go right to Romans, the 13th chapter. Get your Bible. I'm going to pick up in verse 4, but go ahead and read Romans, the 13th chapter. And let me elaborate. It's talking about the powers that be because, first of all, you have to obey the government structure. If they're not going against God, you know, saying, oh, you can't go to church. Well, you don't obey that because we got to obey, obey God rather than man in that case. But magistrates, and you have to be respectful. Know how to talk to police officers or government officials. And this comes usually uh, by way of maturity. Wasn't always like this. You know, I had that mentality of forget about the police, you know, or blank the police. That was the mentality running from them or trying to fight them but nowadays that, that's old school back in the old school maybe you can get away with now they a lot of times they they kill you you know they don't understand uh you know and they think they're justified they're already intimidated a lot of times i mean the ones who don't cannot relate because they're not even from the community you see but let's pick up uh, romans 13 4 or he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is a minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. So you see that even the police officers are set up. And they sometimes, they don't bear the sword in vain or even the gun in vain. God knows what you had did in your past and all the chances that he gave you. And now... A lot of times that life is ended. Not everybody can uh, uh, get away, make it out, have time to repent. You never know when your time's up. And I thank God that he was so merciful to me that I was able to escape. So now let me share these things with you. But they're set up, not just the ministers as far as the police officers doing service or government officials, but you have even the preachers, the deacons. The bishops, the elders, they ought to be respected because they are watchmen to tell you that, hey, the sword is coming to give you warning that you got to turn away and repent from this lifestyle of this thuggery. This Why is it that we always come up thinking that we have to or that, you know, we're going to make it out. We're going to play sports. We're going to play basketball or, or rap, rap music and what have you. You know, a lot of times that just feeds the sin nature. And you get worse and you're rapping, you get caught up with the drug culture and the drugs. Now your mind is gone. You done got off into uh, hard drugs and you're numb. Your conscience has been seared with a hot iron. You don't understand right and wrong no more because you're always loaded. And this weed and this music together combined. Our youth. And I looked at the video of Ahmed Aubrey, one of his confrontations with the police, and he didn't deserve what he got. How those overzealous vigilantes killed him. But we got to speak to the youth. Learn how to talk to the police. If you're not doing nothing wrong, then don't be so defensive. You see, learn how to be calm. And this comes with time and it comes with Bible reading that you can grow by the milk of the word. We got to teach these youth to come back to the word of God. That's going to make you smarter than your enemies. But like I said, I met Aubrey's situation. You know, he was mad, angry, upset, got off work, and here come the police just messing with him. And one of the overzealous ones tried to tase him. <laughs> it didn't even fade him, you know. By that time, he had calmed down. But, you know, I'm looking at the name calling. And, you know, I've been there and done that. That's why I talk about these things, you know. It was about blank the police, you know. You have to grow through maturity. If you're not doing nothing wrong, then why even act like that? You got to understand it through the Bible. It tells you they are needed for a reason. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is a minister of God of revenge to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Amen. So nevertheless, when I saw that, youngsters, we, we got to be wise. We got to be calm. How, I mean, if you having mood swings, what can you expect if you drinking and, 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 and you're hooked on marijuana or hooked on drugs or something like that? It's a way to do stuff. You got to have integrity. Know how to let no evil communication proceed forth out of your mouth. Stop rapping. Listen to something else. Listen to classical music or something. They have a whole different spirit. You know, that's a setup from Satan. 
he have deceived the whole world through music a lot of times. Not just music, false religion. Music and got you all up in your emotions feeling like you justified because you feel a certain way. All oh, this police officer don't understand me. I don't had a bad day. Look, the truth is the truth. Come on back to the word of God. So we don't have to bury the young folk into a, in a Christless grave where they step into eternity where there was no repentance. And a false preacher will preach these individuals into heaven when they had no quality of character to begin with it starts with the word of god that tells you to repent according to acts 238 let me go back to romans the 13th chapter and i just want to show you that for rulers are not a tear to good works but to evil know that and we have to keep this mindset let me back up here to 13 9 of romans for this thou shalt not commit adultery but all up in the world, it's, it's like it's okay. From your talk shows, uh, these sports stars you look up to, and uh, uh, the housewives of Atlanta or, or whoever. Thou should not kill. My goodness, you leave the beach. Night come around. The freaks come out at night. The gangbangers shooting uh, places like Myrtle Beach and uh, Texas beaches or whatever beach, Florida beaches. But the uh, gangbangers come out. But it says don't kill. But you're listening to this music. You know, and, and it's setting you up to have a murder spirit. Thou shall not steal. Flash mobs of youth going into stores, feeling they can get away with it because they outnumber the clerks. And you wonder why the clerks look at you when you come into the store. Because things is being stole. Or whether it's Walmart. Look, the Bible says thou shall not steal. Thou shall not bear false witness. Thou shall not covet. Now, that means don't desire after what your neighbor have. Don't desire after his money, his wife, his things. None of that. Don't covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Well, if you love your neighbor as thyself, you ain't going to be looking to take out a gun and, and, and shoot your neighbor just because he, he looked at you a certain way or he owes your money or he's from another uh, neighborhood it says love worketh no ill to his neighbor therefore love is the fulfilling of the law verse 11 and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe it's getting closer closer and closer we're in times of COVID-19 when it shook the whole world and turn the whole world upside down. You know that Jesus is getting closer to come back than yesterday. Amen. It's getting even closer. You can see the signs. Amen. It says the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness. They drunk at these beaches a lot of times. Not just beaches, but the clubs, but then they coming back to go to the beach. We should be able to enjoy the beach with loved ones. But see, I know when I know when to go. You know? Amen. Like I say, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and use a whole lot of wisdom. Those at night, they're drunk at night a lot of times. Ain't got no business. We're cheering of the day. Remember that. Not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. Or jealous of uh, the next person because they uh, they shining more than you through fashion or what have you. And, and you know, uh, women getting into cat fights, pulling out one another's weave and all of this madness in the world. 14. But, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. So don't uh, make no uh, forethought, premeditation for to, to, to uh, gratify your flesh. We're talking about premeditated sin. You, you don't do that. It's bad enough we battle uh, uh, the various sins that come in our mind. But then you want to premeditate it? It don't work like that. I'm still in Romans. Hey, man, I'm trying to speak to the youth because later in the day, found out was a shooting and what have you. You know, but family should be able to come on out. Not afraid of COVID-19, putting on the Lord Jesus Christ, amen, and having a good time, amen. Sometimes you got to come apart for a moment for some good relaxation. Let's turn to Romans real quick, 
12 and 1, I beseech ye therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy. Let me stop right there. Your body is holy. It's for the Lord. It's not for sexual immorality. It's not for fornication. It's not for you to vape, a hashish, and smoke cigarettes. It's for the Lord. Holy acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Get it right.